What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, we're gonna check out WWE wrestlers threaten to walk out, WWE sales update, John Cena romance, and other wrestling related news. Uh, now, you guys, uh, a lot of you guys saw my video um, late last night on the whole rumor of uh, WWE being sold to the Saudi Arabians, but um more news came out today saying that it's not true there hasn't been any sales so far and once again like i said in that video that was a rumor but i wanted to kind of get your guys uh feedback on it if it was possibly true and one thing i know about vince mcmahon is he loves his uh bottom dollar and one thing we know about the saudi arabian government they have money to just throw <laughs> they they just they have plenty of money to throw so i wouldn't be surprised if that does happen in the future or maybe there was talks with vince and the saudi uh saudi people and maybe there's some things in motion who knows but we will see what happens in the upcoming weeks and months but we're gonna check this out man by wrestlemania appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel you guys are amazing and i am still getting undisputed youtube wrestling champ on the world so don't forget that let's get right into this video man what is going on guys it is wrestlemania here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including WWE wrestlers threatened to walk out amid sale rumors. Has the WWE really been sold? John Cena dated a women's champion and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. Are and follow up with us on this Facebook whole for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. And now to the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at, has the WWE been sold? At top of today's news is a riveting report that the WWE has been sold to the Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, the PIF. We mm -hmm. reported on this in a previous news video, but as you'd expect from a huge story, many more details are emerging. Of course, While of there course. are multiple reports that a deal has been worked out, the sale has not been finalized, according to Bodyslam.net's Cassidy Hayes, who tweeted, Update, here's what I've put together so far. The deal isn't completely finalized because WWE must provide notice to shareholders and other parties. Mm -hmm. There are legalities to go through as a company is publicly traded. But again, I'm told a deal has been agreed to in principle. Will shareholders approve the sale? The sale may not be easy to pull off as Vince McMahon wants. Recall us noting that there are reports that a shareholder suit may be filed by the law firm mm -hmm. Scott and Scott. As the last year the firm announced it was investigating whether members of WWE's board of directors or senior management failed to manage WWE in an acceptable manner. If and this is the thing. Once again, this whole suit could really, uh, really put a, a, a stop to any potential sale right now so it, it things are really developing <laughs> behind the scenes in wwe which is crazy to say like this has probably been the most like active um hype but for the wrong reasons you think people would be more hyped for royal rumble but people are more like interested in what's going on behind the scenes before we even get to the rumble. It's crazy. In breach of their fiduciary duties to WWE and whether WWE and its shareholders have suffered damages as a result. Mm. The suits seem to fade into the background when Vince McMahon retired, but McMahon's return appears to have renewed interest in the suit. Mm -hmm. Now we aren't commenting on the merits of any prospective lawsuit. It, it wouldn't surprise us if other law firms piggybacked on the idea that there's money to be made from suing the company on behalf of shareholders. One of the most interesting aspects of this situation is whether the prospective owners might just throw large sums of money at the plaintiffs to settle the suit and proceed with a sale. Because they had that a type deal of money. Or no deal. Now keep in mind so far, a deal has not been confirmed. And now the MMA Hours Ariel Helwani recently tweeted, Contrary to reports stating otherwise last night, there is no deal in place at this precise moment for WWE to be sold to Saudi Arabia's public investment fund or any entity, sources say. The organization is still exploring all options, I'm told, developing. According to Wrestling Observer Figure 4 Online's Josh Nason, Halwani is a former client of WWE CEO Nick Khan. In light of the many reports and rumors, we want to remind viewers that some business organizations and stock speculators use said reports and rumors for their own advantage, mm -hmm. which often makes it difficult to pin down the facts. Of course, of course. We really have to hear from WWE themselves. But did WWE got got by Vince McMahon? 
As rumors continue that the WWE is being sold to the PIF, a startling story is coming out that Vince McMahon has been working on a potential deal ever since he retired from the WWE last summer. Mm. Meltzer discussed this on the Wrestling Observer Radio, saying, One thing that we do know is ever since Vince was ousted, he did open up talks with the Saudis. I mean, this didn't come in the last week. His coming back was obviously to close the deal, but mm -hmm. perhaps the people who are running the company, for all the reasons we're talking about, probably felt very uneasy about the deal closing because they are perhaps looking out for the long-term future of their company and their own assets too. And this that, that would make sense. Vince didn't come back for just, uh, you know, to feed his ego. You know, Vince came back more so on a business side of things to maybe potentially finalize a deal with selling the company. And once again, he's majority shareholder, so he can do that shit. Yeah, they ousted him out with the, the uh, you know, the allegations and all this other stuff, but best believe I'm pretty sure he was in motion to make some things happen. I, I don't want y'all to think Vince was just at home sitting there soaking over Monday Night Raw, not being ran by him. I'm pretty sure he was definitely making some moves behind the scenes to make sure he can do whatever he can to get back to WWE and do what he he ultimately may want to do, which is sell the company. As we noted on our website, when the news of Vince returning to his seat as executive chairman broke, McMahon moved at lightning speed, mm -hmm. hoping to accomplish a fait accompli. If the WWE is sold, that seems to be the case. Meltzer added to his take on things saying, so that's another layer. Obviously the people on board, Nick Khan and Triple H, who voted one way before to keep McMahon out of the board of directors and they voted it another way today. If this report of Vince going to work on a sale following his retirement is accurate, it raises the question whether Vince McMahon pulled a fast one on the WWE's power structure. There's been speculation that Vince's retirement was forced upon him in some sort of power play behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. This has never been confirmed, but the sudden return of Triple H and Stephanie McMahon after they had previously appeared to have lost any authority in the company led to questions as to why they were suddenly put on top of WWE's food chain. Stephanie's abrupt exit on 10th January following Vince's return as executive chairman should raise eyebrows. He does. Assuming Vince was ousted out, it's not a stretch to hypothesize that he showed why he's still one of the sharpest minds in the business. On the other hand, those who gain control of the WWB may somehow be working with Vince, creating a clever cover story of a power play while everyone is working at the same goal, the fast sale of the WWE to a big money buyer that allows things to move quickly to Vince's best interest. And this is, bro, this is like a goddamn WrestleMania storyline with all twists and turns and, and bro, bro, where was this creative a few years ago? This is this is literally some type of damn this could be like a movie, bro. The way things are playing out right now, it's insane, bro. This is the most talked about situation in WWE and it's not even the Royal Rumble. It's Vince McMahon coming back and just raising all kind of hell. Critics of this theory may argue that the WWE's board told Vince flat out that they didn't want him back in control, but this could have been a case of the board covering his collective ass, mm -hmm. knowing full well that Vince McMahon's voting shares allow him to proceed as he chooses. Mm -hmm. Next up, WWE superstars is chagrin. As you'd expect, the idea of WWE being sold to the Saudis has led to feelings of uncertainty and dread. Dave Meltzer reported on the Wrestling Observer Radio that as soon as the rumors about Saudi deal broke, everyone was talking about it inside wrestling. Everyone at the NXT tapings who was here heard the rumors and everyone was scared whether it was their jobs. That was a lot of uncertainty there, uncertainty mm -hmm. in the company. Wrestlers in the WWE's developmental territory may feel particularly troubled due to questions about whether NXT will continue. The uncertainty may be affecting Bray Wyatt as well, as Wyatt liked a tweet from a fan who tweeted, Dear Bray Wyatt, I know you're not that man anymore, but it turns out I do have fear, Bray. I have fear of you losing again from the WWE. That's my fear. White is one of Damn. the many superstars that Triple H brought back following Vince's departure and possibility of the WWE releasing him and others can't be dismissed. This is Next true. Up, WWE facing mass walkouts? Now, it's unknown what wrestlers could face under new management, but apparently some wrestlers are already contemplating action. Fightful Sean Ross Sapp tweeted, There have been multiple wrestlers who have told me they'd leave WWE if the company ends up being Saudi Arabia led. Mm. Sap's report isn't an earth-shaking announcement yeah, given the superstars who have either flat out refused to work in Saudi Arabia who have expressed being uncomfortable working there. Nonetheless, it again raises the question who might demand their release from WWE. 
On a related note, there's also the question of which superstars the Saudis might not want to work with, whether it's mm -hmm. LGBTQ wrestlers or performers that have been told mm -hmm. that they are persona non grata in Saudi Arabia, such as Sami Zayn. The Saudis may cut certain wrestlers due to the government's problematic political and social views. Yeah. Next up is their uncertainty about W. And this is this is bro, this crazy. This raises a lot of questions, a lot of uncertainty among the wrestlers, the talent, the people that work there. You know, so I don't know. Once again, this is about that bottom dollar. You would think 30 plus years of cultivating this company, cultivating this this business, being the largest wrestling company in the world. It's not even close. The largest wrestling company in the world. And you end up selling it, quote unquote, some would say, for blood money. It, it comes into question the end of the day, was it all worth it? And maybe to Vince, if they do, if he does end up selling it to them, maybe to him, maybe the money was worth it. Maybe them trying to get him out the company was like, all right, bet, I'm going to show you. I'll sell the motherfucking company. That could be a play. That could be a situation. So you know what? I recant my other statement saying it's not about ego. It's definitely with ego with Vince. How could you oust me? How could you try to get me out of my company? You know what? Screw that. I'm going to sell it to the highest bidder. It could be a situation like that. We don't know. We don't know what goes on in the madman's mind of Vince McMahon. We don't know. WWE's current television rights deal? If the WWE is sold to the Saudis, will it affect the WWE's current deals with NBC and Fox to broadcast Raw, NXT, and SmackDown? Hmm. The TV deals are in place through the end of 2023, and there was talk WWE will begin negotiating new deals later this year. However, if it's sold before then, would there be any impact on the deals? Dave Meltzer discussed this saying, maybe he's Vince McMahon's already talked to people at Fox and the NBCU and they've assured him that he's okay. I don't see them cancelling him right now. It's a very problematic company at this point. There's going to be jobs lost. Mm. While NBCU and Fox might be comfortable working with a Saudi-owned company due to the optics, would they want to drop programming that is delivered for them so far? Also, if they wanted to, it's unknown if any clause in the rights deal that allows them for cancelling their shows and recouping any money from the deal. Early on in the deal, there were rumours that WWE had to deliver a certain rating in order to keep its deal with Fox going. Meltzer also discussed what might happen if the WWE were to lose its TV rights deal if they were dropped or no one picks them up when they expire. Has the WWE purchased a propaganda ploy? Well, Meltzer had lots of interesting things to say about a political purchase by Saudi Arabia including the WWE's value for propaganda purposes. You know, here's the other thing too. You know, does this become a propaganda piece every Monday night, like we do on those pay-per-views? If you watched any of the WWE Saudi Arabia events, you've likely seen the various hype videos showcasing what a wonderful place Saudi Arabia is. Mm -hmm. You may also seen the pre- and post-show publicity where the WWE shows its superstars enjoying culture and interacting mm -hmm. with the fans. Critics will cry sports washing and they may be right, but that won't stop the PIF from continuing its propaganda practices. Next up, a Raw faction continues to earn accolades. A good news for the Judgment Day, as Raw's heel faction continues to be praised by fans and people backstage. Fightful Select recently commented that the group was lauded backstage. Bala, Priest, Ripley, and Dominic <laughs> Mysterio have all worked man. hard in the ring and on the mic to get over. Dominic's new gimmick as a hardened <laughs> ex con received plenty of laughs from fans on Monday when he appeared on Miz TV. I will say this they have made a complete 360, and the Judgment Day. Best best faction on Raw. Love to hate them. People want to boo them. Once Dominic turned, which was probably the best thing that happened in his career so far, he's a chicken shit heel that relies on everyone else. He thinks he's tough. It worked. It 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 worked. And everybody else has benefited. I, I do think Rhea Ripley, all jokes aside, I do think she may win the Royal Rumble this year. It only makes sense for her to win it. Like, her her transformation has been the greatest because before, she wasn't going nowhere fast. Now, her transformation has truly been fantastic for her career. I'm liking what Damian Priest is becoming, more of this, this uh, the enforcer. And Finn Balor, Finn Balor being the leader of a, another faction, another group, and people actually giving a damn about him. It's pretty cool. I'm rocking with it. I'm hoping the rumors are true. Him and Edge do have that one more clash with each other. I think that's going to be very interesting as well if they do set that up. But either way, man, 
I'm loving where the Judgment Day stands right now as a faction. And finally, a WWE Women's Champion reveals romance with John Cena. And last but not least, former superstar Victoria spilling the tea when it comes to a brief romance she had with John Cena. The former Women's Champion and multiple-time Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion told Figure Four Online, I dated John Cena for about a month. It was not in 2006 or 2007, it was in 2002. Oh damn. It was when we were both in Louisville. I was married but separated. John Cena was single. I was never his road girlfriend. What would you think of that romance though? Let us know in the comments wait, wait, down wait, below. Wait, and I'll see wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She said, I was married but separated. So technically she was legally married but they weren't, I guess, messing with each other. So technically, technically, she cheated on her husband, but I don't, man. hey, two each is on. Hey, shout out to John, man. John, John Cena may seem like a, you know, the 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 amazing superhero, the the honorable guy, but we got to remember, he was the doctor of thugonomics. I couldn't even say that with a straight face. The doctor of thugonomics was probably getting around, spitting them bars. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. But yeah, this was a very interesting video. Hey, I I will say this. If it does come out to be true and Vince has sold it or is in the process of selling to the Saudi Arabians, I can see uh, a lot of people walking out. I can see this really being a detrimental thing, especially for them on social media. I can see people not wanting to check out the product, to be honest with you. Yeah, it may go private, and that could be a, an exciting thing for some people. It won't be a publicly traded company, but at what cost? At what cost do you do that? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys think, you know, that Vince could possibly sell to them? Or do you think he may sell to somebody else also do you think this is more of a a power play like in the sense of because they have initially tried to get him out the company to push him out for him to come back do you think this is a way to say you know what screw you guys i'm gonna do what i want to do because i own majority of the company still so i'm gonna do this just to spite people let me know man do you think vince mcmahon is willing to throw away 30 plus years or give away 30 plus years, and I wouldn't say give, but sell 30 plus years of what he's done for the company to just spite some people? I don't know. Maybe. Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support, man. Roll to 150K. And I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next week. Peace.